Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. Uh, something different this week to start off with, we're going to be doing Hachette Partworks Build the Spitfire Mark 1A, uh, parts 22 and 23. <laughs> Now there's not two videos today, I'm going to go back to doing one video a day now, but the um, uh, there's two episodes that I'm going to be doing together because there's nothing to do, well pretty much nothing to do, in both of them. But there are some uh, interesting things in these magazines. Uh, the first one, issue 22, we're just going to have a little bit of the fuselage which is going under the cockpit. Uh, let me just show you the magazine. As you can see, this looks like that and it comes in a box which I haven't opened yet, so uh, we'll open that together in a second. Uh, but we don't do anything with it, we're going to open it and that's all it is. But the good thing about this magazine was something I've been crying out for is a, a guide of what every individual thing in the cockpit is. And as you can see, it lists down there exactly what this is. So the thing that I thought was a compass, uh, number nine there, that's actually uh, an artificial horizon indicator. I thought that was like a gimbal compass at the top there. Uh, see, I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but there is invaluable. And I'm going to keep this uh, magazine. I don't normally keep the magazines. I'm going to keep this one because... Uh, Obviously, that's going to be good to uh, reference back to. Uh, and now, at the uh, end of the magazine, it actually shows us what's coming in issue 23. And as you see, it's a frame uh, for the port wing and screws to fix it in place. So we've actually started to build the wings. Now, if I put that to one side and we bring over part 23, looking like that, that looks like that. And once again, I haven't opened it. <laughs> it's in this box here. So we will open that. Actually, it's very light. Make sure there's something in there. Yeah, it is. Again, I haven't opened that and some screws. So all we're going to do in that stage is we're just going to attach the fuselage section we had there. We're going to put the wing on it and just screw that into place. Uh, that's all there is to do in these two stages. See what I mean? There's hardly anything to do at all. Um, but let me just show you what's coming in 24. As you can see, we've got two bracing struts. Uh, for the port wing, um, plus some fixing screws for that. Uh, these look like metal, but again, it doesn't look like there's much to do uh, in issue 24. So I thought what we'll do is we'll have a quick review of where we're up to and what we've done so far. And we'll play with the electrics again, because you know I love uh, breaking out the battery box there and making engines whir around and uh, lights coming on. And then we'll look at the parts that we've got in this issue. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So as you can see, this is what we've done with the engine and the propeller and obviously these sides come off here and we can put the uh, fuselages back on, make sure they're all in place so there's no gaps there, just like that. So it's looking absolutely perfect on both sides there and I've already plugged the power in so we can see the propeller whizzing around. I could do that all day, I'm telling you. Actually, there's a nice breeze coming off of that now. <laughs> so that's where we're up to just with the uh, front section, which is the uh, Merlin engine and the propeller. So I'm just going to take this out, being very careful. There we go. And we can put that to one side. And then recently, we've been working on the cockpit area. And this is what the cockpit area looks like. Again, I'm going to show you on the top camera here. Uh, looking just like that. And uh, we've got a wire in here, which is going to test the electrics. So I'm going to plug this in again, because a lot of you did request, can we see what the uh, cockpit electrics look like when it's actually in the vehicle? So that's that, and there it's on there. Now I'll try and show you that on the side camera as well. So that's what it looks like there, and then with the lights on. Hopefully you can see that, because I am underneath studio lights here, but uh, I want to keep the quality there. So that's where we're up to with that. Now, no idea how this is going to be fixed, but as you can see, lengthwise, we're just shy of about 27 centimetres at the moment. So uh, that's what that looks like. Uh, and obviously, we're now starting to build out the wing areas here. So let's open the Pack 22 box. Very tidy box this is, but you can tell it's metal straight away because how heavy it is. And I do like how it's wrapped up in this tissue paper here uh, to keep that nice and safe. Of course, it's like Christmas, isn't it? So I'll open that up. And there we go. Lovely detailing here. It's got a uh, jack here, the jack points here, just labelled on that. It said it's all metal, quite heavy. Painting's really good as well. But uh, that's that stage, but we don't actually do anything with that in this stage. For that, we're going to need the next stage, which was stage 23. So we'll open this one up and have a look what we got here. 
Now this is plastic. I'm guessing we're gonna have sort of metal panels going on top of this, but we'll have to see how that looks. Uh, that's why it was quite light. Uh, just checking the size of this. Now I know that we've got extra details to put on the wings, uh, but if I uh, get my ruler out, you're looking about 25 centimeters to the fixing point there. So uh, we are getting there. And obviously we've got some screws in here as well. And these screws are two times four millimeter screws. So all we're gonna do is gonna take the fuselage here. And as you can see, we've got three points, one, two, three they're going to fit over these points one two three so we'll get them lined up so that's the first one in just over the top there second one in there and the third one there and then we're going to hold that in place with three of those two times four mil screws so we get this open and put the screws into place see this is a lovely easy issue matter of fact this is a lovely way to start the uh week off i've had a very busy weekend building my workshop i'll show you a picture of that in a minute if you haven't seen it on social media there's still a lot to do realistically it won't be ready till the end of the month that's number two and here's the last one just at the top there number three now remember this is pl plastic at the moment there's no reinforced frame or anything so this bit will be brittle so when you store this keep it safe uh, but that is what that looks like now i'm guessing the cockpit will eventually go on top here somehow haven't got a clue how but i'm guessing kind of like that i would have thought but uh it just gives you some sort of idea of how this is going to look but uh it gives you an idea of scale as well so we're going to have another wing coming out the other side as well quite a big little thing that is but uh that is all there is to do in these two stages you know what i can't resist actually just putting the front in now these screws here i'm guessing are going over this triangle bit here Look at me getting ahead of myself. So that would probably fix in like that. And then these, no idea, but I'm guessing they're probably gonna fix over those sections there, perhaps. I don't know how close the, the cockpit would be to those sections, but if that goes there, again, that gives you an idea of what this looks like. <laughs> Can't help myself. So there you go, that's all there is to do in those stages. Now, you probably will notice, look, the paint rack's gone. And the paint rack's gone, but underneath the Millennium Vulcan. Obviously, they're now in my workshop. Anything to do with anything being messy or painting is going to be in the workshop. This is where I'm up to at the moment. Uh, it's looking really good. It's insulated as far as uh, I've got a constant heat source in there, but I am going to be doing some insulation in there. But the insulation mainly is going to be killing two birds with one stone. So I'm using uh, foam tiles, which are going to uh, rebound sound as well. So it's not so echoey in there. Uh, but I have accounted for the fact that that workshop is going to be constant heated through the winter which is going to cost me about 40 pound a month i know it's cheaper to actually get it insulated properly but i'm doing it that way because i like the rustic look uh, but it's looking really good at the moment and that's why we haven't got any paint racks here now hopefully later on in the week i'll have some information about the paint racks because model designs who actually made the paint racks for me uh, are running a competition now we did try and run this competition before covid hit and unfortunately we had to cancel it because the distribution channels were completely shot to pieces but i'm hoping that this week we'll be able to start that again so watch the channel uh, for the rest of the week to see if that comes up um, tomorrow we're going to be probably doing the bismarck and then tomorrow evening we're going to be doing the terminator had to have a think then <laughs> and then uh, we should be having the shelby super snake sometime this week as well that's uh, pack eight i believe we're on on that uh, but there you go that's what's going on for this week i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care